inflammatory biomarkers in clinical and public health practice. The statement was developed after system, uh, systematically reviewing the uh, evidence and association between infla inflammation, inflammatory markers, mainly CRPs, but now things have advanced, and coronary artery disease. So it's important to not only look at the patient from a standpoint of aches and pains and extra fat, but also it's important to look at the levels of inflammation. Now, biomechanics is engineering. Basically, we're talking about a moving machine. It's a machine, and if it gets out of alignment, it's very simple. It will wear out faster. It's not any rocket scientists here. This is not rocket science. It's very basic. If the machine is not lined up properly, then it'll wear out faster. That's called abnormal wear and tear. And if it's in some joint that is involved in the walking process, then obviously that happens on a daily and a monthly and a weekly and a yearly basis until uh, it takes its toll on you and then you are in trouble. You've got to have a hip replacement. Systemic inflammation has invaded your system and caused all kinds of aging of your body. So the study of prevention of abnormal walking or biomechanics is critical to your practice if you're really going to be an astute doctor of anti-aging medicine. Excuse the... Um, so we're going to talk about that now. Now, the first way of determining um, the uh, arthritis is through x-ray, wrong. First way to determine whether you have arthritis is by doing a biomechanical analysis. Like I said, in fact, not only can we determine if we become really astute in studying the biomechanics and understanding it, we can pick up on uh, joints that are going to hurt in the future. They're not even hurting yet. They're just going to hurt because it picks it up that quickly. And like I said, all you have to do is have every patient in your office walk by. That's like looking at one x-ray or looking at 10,000 